acceleration of a body acceleration of a body having circular cross section having circular cross section rolling without slipping rolling without slipping a body having circular cross section rolling without slipping on an inclined plane acceleration of a body having a circular cross section rolling without slipping on an inclined plane so this is an inclined plane horizontal plane a body having circular cross section is placed on this inclined plane this body has a radius small r this body has, has radius small r not capital r it should be small r here it is capital r but it should be small r the body has the radius capital a small r and weight of the body mg weight of the body mg acts vertically downwards and this angle is angle of inclination that is theta the weight mg is resolved into two rectangular components this component and this angle is theta and this component which is perpendicular to inclined plane is mg cos theta and the other component acts down the inclined plane that is uh, the other component of weight is mg sin theta radius of the body is small r the body has circular cross section and radius of the body is small r now we can denote the axis of the body we can denote the axis of the body this is the axis of the body about which the body will rotate or and rolls down the inclined plane axis of the body the body rolls down the inclined plane in this way and the body has the tangential or linear acceleration a down the inclined plane the body rolls down the inclined plane with an uh, with a linear acceleration a small a and uh, as the body rolls down in that case angular acceleration alpha will be acting outwards as according to um, the direction shown in the figure alpha is the angular acceleration which acts outwards kinetic friction acting between uh, the body and the inclined plane which is fk kinetic friction fk acts up the inclined plane ab kinetic friction fk acts up the inclined plane ab fk is the kinetic friction alpha is the angular acceleration when a body of mass m small m when a body of mass small m having circular cross section it may be cylinder or ring or solid sphere or disc having circular cross section rolls down an inclined plane without slipping rolls down an inclined plane ab without slipping with a linear acceleration a with a linear acceleration a net force acting on the body down the inclined plane the net force acting on the body down the inclined plane is given by down the inclined plane ab is given by f equal capital f equal mg sin theta minus fk mg sin theta not sin g it should be mg sin theta minus fk 
sin theta mg sin theta minus fk where fk is the kinetic friction acting between the body and the inclined plane fk is the kinetic friction acting between the body and the inclined plane between the body and the inclined plane and it acts up the inclined plane fk is the kinetic friction acting up the inclined plane ab again the net force acting on the body is f equal to mass into acceleration ma so if we compare this two equation we get ma equal mg sin theta minus fk which is equation 1 ma equal mg sin theta minus fk which is equation 1 now now the torque now the torque tau acting now the torque tau acting on the body rolling down the inclined plane ab rolling down the inclined plane torque acting on the body rolling down the inclined plane is only due to the force of kinetic friction or kinetic friction the torque due to which the body rolls down is due to the kinetic friction torque is produced due to uh, kinetic friction the body rolls down rotates about its own axis as shown in the figure and uh, the torque alpha angular acceleration acts outwards along the axis of uh, the body and the torque which uh, due to which it rotates uh, torque tau acts ta torque tau acts outwards alpha acts outwards and the torque tau is also acting outwards that means alpha means angular acceleration acts in the same direction of torque tau both act outwards therefore the torque acting on the body the torque acting on the body is given by tau e is a product of the radius and the force that means tau equal to r into fk torque is a product of radius of the body and kinetic friction fk again tau uh, equal to i into alpha where alpha is the angular acceleration of rotation of the body angular acceleration of the rotation of the body and i is the moment of inertia and i is the, mo is the moment of inertia of the body about its own axis moment of inertia of the body moment of inertia of the body therefore i alpha equal r fk or comma therefore uh, since linear acceleration a is a product of angular acceleration alpha into perpendicular distance or radius therefore i a by r equal r fk therefore fk equal i a divided by r square that is the expression of kinetic friction fk equal i a by r square which is equation 2 putting the expression of kinetic friction fk putting the expression of kinetic friction fk from equation 2 in equation 1 putting the expression of fk from equation 2 in equation 1 we get ma was mg sin theta minus fk ma equal mg sin theta minus ia by r square or comma ma plus ia by r square equal mg sin theta 
in this or a plus i by m r square equal g sin theta a plus i by i dot a divided by m r square equal g sin theta dividing on the terms by mass m a is taken common a bracket open 1 plus i divided by m r square equal g sin theta therefore a equal g sin theta divided by 1 plus i divided by m r square a equal g sin theta divided by 1 plus i by m r square not only m r it should be m r square i by m r square this is uh, the acceleration this is the linear acceleration this is the linear acceleration of the body of a body having circular cross section having circular cross section rolling down the inclined plane without slipping rolling down the inclined plane without slipping a equal g sin theta divided by 1 plus i divided by m r square which is the acceleration of the body rolling down the inclined plane